for anybody unsure, that is the sound a hen makes. Only a hen can make that sound. That's a coral blue guinea hen. day right here with the dark blue collar had a terrible skur almost embedded in his scalp and I told my husband that's it we cannot put this off we're going to have to take care of it so we got the hacksaw out and it took both of us to hold him at the same time and we got almost all the way cut through and the whole skirt came off, which is not unusual. It bleeds a tiny bit at the quick, but he will be so much more comfortable from now on. And he's not even angry with me anymore. Well, not really, not if I had animal crackers. <laughs> Beautiful bliss. And Mr. Briar already had his milk. And here's my gorgeous burly. And the big news is we named her. We got a suggestion and Cheyenne was one of the suggestions. And my granddaughter's middle name is Cheyenne. So we have named this beautiful girl Cheyenne. She's so pretty. Frank has lived here before, and that's another reason why he's back. I couldn't just let him go somewhere else, even though I have two other ganders. Uh, we'll just have to have three. So, her name is Cheyenne. She is gorgeous. I cannot wait to have her goose babies. Sweet girl. There's my Bristol this morning. And Samson's laying in the shade already. Hi, buddy. Mr. Blue Eyes. Pulled and blue eyed Samson. And there's Betty and BJ. Burley. These these three here, the, the white colored ones, those are pygmy. Pygmy crosses is what they are. Um, Burley and Betty seem to be, Burley especially seems to be crossed with Nigerian dwarf because he has blue eyes. BJ, he's either pure pygmy or a cross with something else, pygmy something, because he's bigger than even Burley. And obviously my Nigerian dwarfs are little girls, especially Bristol. I don't think Bliss is going to be as little as her mama. She's probably going to be more like her auntie Bree. And Bree is literally Bris Bliss's aunt. Bristol and Bliss are half sisters. No, wait, I got that wrong. Br Bree is Bristol's aunt. So Bliss is her second. <laughs> Bliss is one generation separated from Bree. <sighs> oh, I just love them so. Look at those faces. We got some fresh new hay and of course that'll keep them busy and happy for a few days and then they'll demand newer hay and let the rest go all over the ground where they will not eat it. Let's see, 
Breeze baby bump, how about how much it's showing. Let's see, baby. Oh yeah, we got some baby bump going on. Alrighty, there's my good girl, Allie. She takes good care. Especially, uh, not especially always, um, Cheyenne and Frank haven't been going in the with the other geese. They aren't welcome yet. So they've been staying out at night and I completely trust Allie. We have complete fencing. And so it would be hard for something to get in other than a raccoon or something, but Allie would, Allie won't let anything happen to them, so. What you doing, buddy? What are you doing, mister? He climbs in that and lays down. They, they all do. Even adults, if it, it's a big enough place, <laughs> they'll lay down in it. It's kind of funny how they like to... They like to get in those little spaces, just like a puppy or a kitten. I'm girly. He wants my undivided attention. Hello, precious boy. Oh, you're so pretty. My girly. Burley is eight years old this year. Hello, sweet boy. There he is. Hello, that's Dixie. Let's see if we can get a good. This one right here is Spurs. The one. The other gander behind Spurs right there is Cowboy. This is Kenzie. And this one right here is Georgia. I love seeing Cheyenne in the pool. I'm watering my pasture area and then I'll do their waters for the hotter afternoon. 